All right, 617. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at our headlines for the day today. A lot going on in the weather this week, actually, starting with today. It's going to be a warm and humid day. We had a nice break from that heat and humidity over the weekend. Of course, it wasn't as sunny as we had hoped and perhaps not as warm as you would hoped if you maybe you were planning a beach weekend. Uh, but the heat is back today. We're going to be in the 80s for highs. It's Humid, definitely. Dew points are in the upper 60s, low 70s. But a cold front will drop off the humidity this week, so that's some good news. But we are going to be watching for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Some of them could be strong, if not severe, with gusty winds and locally heavy rainfall. It's the type of situation where they'll be scattered around. Not everyone will see them. And then we'll be dealing with the remnant moisture of Ida, especially Wednesday into Thursday of the upcoming of, of this week. So. We are off to a warmer start by about 10 to even 11 degrees warmer this morning compared to yesterday morning. And you're probably also noticing the increased humidity in the air. It kind of crept up all day long yesterday into the overnight hours. And today we've got that stickiness in the air. Temperatures are in the upper 60s in Willington and stores. Old Saber got 71. Willimantic also 69. No rain since midnight. But again, we may be adding to some of those rainfall totals with some of the thunderstorms that do develop this afternoon and this evening. So today we're in that oppressive category, but once the cold front slides through later on tonight, we'll drop off that humidity. It stays pretty comfortable for most of the week and then really comfortable by Friday and the upcoming weekend. So far, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that uh, the weekend forecast is looking great. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday with uh, temperatures right around 80 degrees and low humidity. So hopefully that will not change between now and then. We have cloudy skies and some fog over Waterbury right now, 70 degrees. We'll check out down town Hartford, a similar scene there, 73 degrees also south winds at three miles per hour. So lots of clouds, some fog this morning. We will break out with some sunshine in the midday hours and then watch these thunderstorms kind of firing up around three, four o'clock. And then another line moves through um, along the actual cold front, seven, eight, nine o'clock tonight before clearing the area. So again, we will be keeping an eye on the radar, let you know if any warnings are issued later on today. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, we'll be off to a dry and sunny start. It looks like a pretty decent Decent day for your Tuesday. Then Tuesday night, the clouds increase, and then here comes the rain for Wednesday and Thursday. So here is um, Ida's location right now. Yesterday came on shore as a major Category 4 storm with winds of 150 miles per hour. Today, the winds have decreased significantly as Ida is now a tropical storm, but still plenty of flooding rain to be dealing with today along the Gulf here, as well as the isolated tornado threat. And winds are still strong at 60 miles per hour. I mean, that's not a light wind. Um, definitely improvement, and we're going to con see, uh, continue to see further weakening through the day today into tomorrow. But notice the track here from the National Hurricane Center basically takes the remnant moisture right over Connecticut, if not southern New England. So let's take a look at future cast. This is the European model showing some of that heavy rain right over Connecticut into the Wednesday Thursday time frame and if that does happen if the track stays on target we could easily be looking at two three maybe even four inches of rainfall which is a lot of rain considering how much we've had around lately so we will be watching for a flooding potential as well temperatures today low to mid 80s Thunderstorms developing this afternoon. They clear out this evening and tonight we'll be dropping down into the 60s for overnight lows. And then for tomorrow, 84 degrees, a nice summer day with lower humidity. Rain for Wednesday into Thursday and then drying out and really a nice stretch of weather Friday, Saturday and Sunday.